Hello everyone and welcome to BMG Drive and today we're going to be checking out a very very cool new mod that's just been released, the Gunner Patriot Demo. Um, now this is, as I'm sure you can see, based very heavily off the uh, the military Hummer, the whatever it's supposed to be called, the HMMV or something like that, what the acronym is, I can't remember, probably should have researched that. Um, and this is the initial version that's been uploaded to the Beam repository. Um, as you can see, it looks really, really good. This is a very, very well detailed vehicle. Um, it's this initial version uh, that you can download for free as a demo is uh, just one config based off, I believe, the uh, the standard kind of military um, standard military spec. Um, but there are more versions which are, are available on the uh, on the developers Patreon, which we will take a look at in just a little bit. Um, but yeah, first impressions, very very impressive. Look at it; it looks very well detailed. It's got portal axles and inboard brakes, and uh, very very slow and loud, naturally aspirated diesel. Hello, officer. I'm not doing anything wrong. So let's go take it out for a spin. So yes, as you can see. Very, very well detailed, very sturdy looking with this camouflage paint. Now, the first thing that I'm going to test, seeing as the, the game has decided to spawn the right traffic here, parked up. Oh, do they not have handbrakes on? Come on, I'm sure I can climb over one. There we go. That was a climb, that was an effective climb. Now this vehicle is mainly uh, mainly designed to be good off-road, as I'm sure you'd imagine. It is a military vehicle. Um, my first impressions are really that, despite not having much power, I mean very much not power, it's a naturally aspirated diesel, what do you expect? It doesn't actually feel as slow as I was expecting, and you know what? Oh, don't have the brakes! I'm really enjoying driving this thing so far. I mean, it reminds me very much of the Stambeco. Um, <laughs> that was quite the rollover. I wonder if it will still drive. Um, it does remind me of the Stambeco in a way that, you know, it's got fimil fimil <laughs> similar features, not similar features. Um, you know, such as the portal axles, the very wide uh, kind of transmission tunnel with the engine and everything. Um, but it does definitely feel quite a bit more stable with the much wider track. Um, it's probably about the same speed-wise, um, but being an automatic rather than the manual Stambeco, it's uh, quite a lot easier to get up to speed. With the Stambeco, you lose a little bit of speed and you're suddenly having to um, having to restart, you know, changing up through all the gears, and it does take a while. It can get quite infuriating. But this thing, you can just kind of keep ploughing on. Now, I imagine it's probably quite good at uh, rock crawling and other, you know, similar off-roading things. Uh, I, I'm going to have to find some place around here to take it off-road. Excuse me. If we just take it down here into this little, little riverbed, I don't know why the police are pursuing me. Oh, I've done another roll. My windscreen's fallen off. It's fine, we can keep going. I mean, I guess, you know, you'd expect it. It's a military vehicle, but this thing is very sturdy. Um, now, as I said, this is the first config that comes with the free demo version uh, that you can download off the repository. Um, but with the uh, future of this mod, um, there will be uh, more military versions and a civilian version, which I'm very, very excited to see. Um, excuse me, sir, are you supposed to be down here? You people look quite lost. Um, yeah, so and early access uh, to kind of test some of those is available on the Patreon, which we'll be checking out in just a second. But for now, you know, first impressions, you know, there isn't much customization on the uh, the demo version. Um, I've rolled over again. It's not quite as stable as I was expecting with the track being this wide. Yeah, let's just skirt around here, and we will see how easily we can get up this big hill because it's not got much power. In fact. We'll start it from a standstill, see if it can make it up. You know, it's probably got quite a lot more torque, but only 150 horsepower isn't much. Bloody hell! <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> oh, okay, well this is a new challenge that I wasn't expecting. It's just about crawling up. I, I think if I put it, should I put it into low range? Let's see if that does any better. Um, no, it's about the same, it's just louder. 
So yeah, despite not having much power or any sort of run up, you know, a vehicle like this, as I'm sure you would expect, is very, very good at doing off-roading. Now, as you can see, there are a few different versions. Uh, you know, this is the the standard. This was the demo config, and then it has um, you know ones with roofs, open top, with doors. But we're going to move on. We're going to check out this four door hard roof. This is kind of what I think of when I think Hummer. Ooh, I like the big exhaust. I do like the big exhaust. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, and the snorkel as well. We're going to ignore him. Let's see. Would it fit through these tunnels? It is very wide. I mean. It won't if I immediately have a crash like that. So far, no issues. Although the width is a little bit concerning. I am somewhat worried it is going to fall down to its demise pretty shortly. Although that, that may depend more on the skills of the driver rather than the actual vehicle itself. Oh... Come on. Oh, bloody well done. That was all the car. No, that was all me, not the car. The car didn't do anything. I did that. I was all the I was the skills behind that. I see uh, I see daylight. Emerge. Oh no. <laughs> I've emerged straight into a rock it seems. Come on. I'm sure we can navigate through here. Ah, well that's less navigating, that's more having an accident, to be completely honest. I've lost a door. Let's just lift it over here. Oh, that was... I didn't mean to press shift and move my camera so quickly. Oopsie daisies, sorry car. Or truck even. Even after all that, I think it will still drive. Of course it does, of course. I, well, I shouldn't be surprised at this point. Now, so far we've done a lot of, um, uh, well, quite a lot of off-roading and twisty turns, but we're going to try and see how quickly this thing can actually get if you give it enough room. Jeez, ignore the absolutely crazy AI. It, excuse me? Oh, bloody hell. What on earth is happening here? I'm not even in trouble. They're not they're not after me. They're just nuts. It's, it's quite loud in here. It's quite loud in here. We're well off the speedo. The speedo only goes up to 60. That doesn't fill me with confidence. In fact, the car itself only goes up to 70. I'm not sure why every single AI is having a crash at the same time. 68 miles per hour, that is its top speed. That's almost the national speed limit. That's good enough, I'd say. We're going to try and have a big crash now. Excuse me. Oh. Oh no, oh no, rocks, rocks. Somehow completely fine. Climb over. Oh no! No, we're good, never mind. <laughs> Escape the other direction. Dodge! You know what, it's a lot more agile than I would have expected. It, it, you know, it turns quite happily at higher speeds. Oh, I think I can squeeze through here. Just about. Oh, I'm not squeezing through here. <laughs> straight, straight over the top. <laughs> This thing is great fun for police chases. Nothing can stop you. Oh, I had to speak too soon, didn't I? No, never mind. Nothing can stop you. I stand by my statement. And bonk. It's nice having a vehicle where you can smack the wheels onto vehicles and they don't get completely bent. Every time I think I've bitten off more than I can chew, I somehow managed to chew it. It's wonderful. This thing's great fun. <laughs> and then I could just kind of escape into the wilderness. Right, well. 
I've tested a few things so far with this vehicle, how well it does against the police, how well it does on the road and off-road and everything that you could want to test, but I haven't yet tested how six of them go down a hill. So I think that's what we're going to do now, really. As you can see, by the way, I forgot to mention it, but uh, this vehicle is paintable, both the standard non-liveried version and this with the camouflage, it means that I can be extra incognito with my many shades of purple. Alright, let's get this lot running away. And we will join them. Performance wise, this vehicle seems to run quite well. I'm trying... I want to... I want to shut the, the bonnet and stuff, but... I can't get to it. Oh, they've, they've all popped their engine. Oh, oopsies. Oh, that's a lot of rolls. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of rolls. Oh. <laughs> Bloody hell. Okay. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> that was... It's still going. It is still bloody going. Jesus. And now it's on fire. How will the others do it? Right, well, this that one's stuck in a pit. These two have popped their engines because they left it in drive, but they do still seem to be rolling towards the finish, I think. With not much speed. Bonk. Bonk. What happened to the... Boing. <laughs> this vehicle is great entertainment. Well, that one's still going, just about. Never mind. And somehow one managed to get stopped up here. Oh, they just rolled straight onto their roof and just stopped dead. Well, that's no fun. Come on, you can... I'm sure I can flip you over and you can keep going. Oh, no. Oh. Sorry, I may have flipped you a bit. I may have flipped them a bit much there. Ah. I might be a bad person. Never mind, they're still going. They're all good. Oh, wow. What an impressive... Yeah, these ones are just still just rolling completely undamaged. With a wheel... There's a, there's a wheel that's catching up, or not. That is definitely a wheel. No, wheel! Okay, no, never mind. Wheel's good. Is the wheel going to crash into the car? No, the wheel is, the wheel is actually going to beat both of them down to the bottom. That front does look a bit bent. Does the one behind look like that as well? No. Okay, I've no idea what this one did to make it snoop drooped. But either way, this vehicle is capable of making it to the bottom of the course. How very impressive. Well, that has been it. I hope you lot enjoyed. The link to the mod is in the description, as well as the Patreon page uh, for where you can get the full version and uh, learn a bit more about the vehicle. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Uh, likes and subscribes are all appreciated. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.